Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is called the Salanino birding area. Well, I can see why every bird in the world is here. Hear them? I'm telling you. Oh, there's something happening. They're all getting quiet now. I'll show you something else. This is the Rio Grande River right here. I'm right on the Rio Grande River. There's no wall here, no fence, no nothing. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, I just was out driving this morning. I started taking some turns towards the Rio Grande River. Yeah, I'm gonna walk along the Rio Grande right now. Yep, we're right here on the border of Texas and Mexico. And uh, here's a little dirt road here, probably used by the Border Patrol or somebody. And there's two guys over there fishing in the river. They told me they hadn't been catching anything. But yeah, you can come down here and picnic right on the Rio Grande. That's it, guys. See all those trails? Let's I'll zoom a little bit. You might be able to see those trails on the other side. I wonder where those came from. Those are game trails. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Life goes on, guys. But yeah, it's the old Rio Grande. It's actually pretty right here. I'm surprised. In some parts, it's a little rough looking. We'll walk up this road here. I'm just wish I'd have brought my trike. I'd have done a triking video right here. But I uh, just thought I'd take a short drive this morning. Ended up here at the, I think it's a Salonino or something like that. Birding area. It's right here on the Rio Grande near Falcon Lake State Park. Uh, it takes, to get here from Falcon Lake State Park, 15 minutes. Uh, I thought I'd go around this trail and it might go back down to the river. See, there's birds everywhere, but these look like grackles to me. Now, those are just plain old black birds. But there's thousands of them down here. Every tree has birds in it. No wonder they call it a birding area. Let me get over here and you'll see some more. I don't know the names of many birds. Cardinals, I can spot those. But you can hear them, can't you? Now, this is a well-used road, I have to tell you that. And it goes on down that way. But on my trike, I would do it. I may, I may come back down here since, you know, God, I'm going to be here a few more days. I may come down here and do a triking video one day. But there is the Rio Grande River, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of political talk about this and the border fence and the border that. Look at this. <laughs> Ain't nothing. There's not even a, a, a barbed wire fence. Does it matter? I don't see anybody coming across. <laughs> I mean, I don't see thousands of people swimming the rivers, but anyway. That's a political issue, in my opinion. You know, we live on one planet. But, that's enough said. Walk down here and let you see the flowing, gently flowing here. The gently flowing Rio Grande River, and we're right in it. I could stick my foot in it right there. It's really pretty here, isn't it? And there's no real river odor. You know, sometimes rivers have a little smell to them. I don't notice any here. Well, you know, I'll get down here and I'll show you a better shot. Turn around here. Zoom a little bit. We're facing Mexico there. Spinning around a little bit here. And there is the Rio Grande. It looks like it comes around a little island there. The river splits around that little island. Pretty nice, huh? And these are the things you run into when you're out RVing. Something else I'll mention, it looks like somebody's in a canoe way down there, maybe. 
But something else I'll mention, as I was leaving the campground this morning, going out for my morning drive, uh, there was a fellow that hailed me down because I have a Ram pickup and he wanted to know if I had a, you know, the regular door key that he could try because he'd locked his keys in his truck. It didn't work, but it was a nice try. But they also have the little thing that you can put down the window and pop it, pop the lock. And uh, they have one at the State Park Falcon, but the, the officer is not in that has it. But so that may work for him. But what I wanted to point out was whenever you guys are going out RVing, or even if you don't have an RV, if you just have a car or whatever, be sure you have a spare key that's readily accessible access outside the vehicle somewhere, either a hide a key or something that you can get to. And what I've done since I'm getting older and make all kind of silly mistakes with keys, I have uh, extra RV keys. I have a full set of keys in two different locations outside the RV. That's an extra key to the truck. I mean, I mean the little key fob, the, the battery operated thing. I've got an extra one of those. But you just take the battery out and tape it to it and it'll stay good for a while. But yeah, be sure and have you an extra set of keys for your vehicle and particularly your RV because what I've done, I've got an extra set of keys in the RV on a hanger, on a little hanging spot. And then I have a key that I can access the RV from from the outside to get in to get those keys. And then I have it uh, around somewhere on the truck is uh, another load of keys to get me going again because I'm telling you, you get to be older like me and, and well, you can do it, at, you could do it at any age. I don't think age has anything to do with that. But uh, anyway, we'll go back in here in the truck now and we'll drive out of here. But yeah, right here on the Rio Grande between Texas and Mexico. What is this? Anyway, sheesh. And these guys over here fishing, just friendly as they can be. They don't have an Uzi strapped on their back. The news media would never cover this. Never. But anyway, interesting day, guys. On and on it goes. I'm going to see if I can put this in the holder and uh, continue with the driving video. It'll be a little awkward here for a few, about a minute or so until I get this up there. Okay. Now we're in the truck. See this right here? I put this. I put this under the the holder on the phone. That opens up like that, and uh, then I just stick the phone in the holder, and then clip it, and then raise it up to where you can see just a piece of the hood and try to get it reasonably level, which is usually a little difficult. And then I put this thing back under there that it's actually it's just a towel that I've rolled up and that helps reduce a little of the shakiness. And it may not be perfect right there, but we're gonna go with it. I'll just show you that what the road is like driving out of here. <clears throat> get my seat belt around me here. And I do have my keys, believe it or not. So let's go. There's the fisherman. <laughs> it's just two young, I don't know if that's a father and son or, or uh, just two young men out fishing, but it's a rough road coming down here, but I got 10 ply tires and Drive slow. Well, I'm going to get a little speed up going up this hill because it's got some, some loose gravel. So it's going to jiggle the camera a little bit for a second here till I get up here. But those trucks parked there on the right, that has nothing to do with law enforcement. Those are people that are birders. There's a sanctuary to the right that is run by a couple of old PhDs. And uh, it's called Birders Welcome Walk On In eight to four daily you know these are all campers over in the at falcon lake you can, those are all their tow vehicles but i'm telling you man people take that birding serious i wouldn't know anything but th this is the road into that goes on down to the river there's a little town right up here about i don't know half a mile 
and we'll just let this go. Maybe a little shaky till we get off this uh, gravel road, but I'll go slow so it won't be too bad. I've had a few negative comments about the videos are being, I mean, the driving videos. And you know, what I have to say to that, and I don't mean to be impolite, but just blunt, uh, if, you don't want to, if you don't like them, don't watch them. Or option two, if you have a YouTube channel and you've got perfect driving videos, then leave me a link and I'll watch your videos to see if I can't learn something. And also, for those of you that, uh, the few, very few, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, get, I get a few negative comments, I do. And, and it's, it's a little frustrating in the sense that you, some of the people that leave the negative comments are people that I would never expect to, to, to be that small-minded. But anyway, enough said. If you don't expect anything, you'll never be disappointed. Yeah, this is a little town here. There's a church off there to the right. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a town of Falcon. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, you just drive right down to the river. It's called River Road. I mean, you can't hardly mess that up, can you? This is the intersection of, of Inglesia, I -N, or excuse me, I-G-L-E-S-I-A and River Road. Iglesia, Iglesia Street and River Road for you Google mappers. They got speed bumps here too. Notice that. And on and on we go. Yeah, because they don't want you speeding along here because there's probably kids riding bicycles and stuff. So we'll just cruise on. And we get up here to the highway, main highway 83, I'll shut it down. But since it takes forever to upload the videos, <clears throat> what I'll do, I'll just start this one up. And whenever it shows up, it does. There'll be a stream of them coming. You know, once you, once you get enough in the pipeline, it really doesn't matter uh, how long it takes. Sooner or later, one of them will pop out. And since they're all viral videos anyway, it doesn't matter. There's the, the old cemetery there on the right. Every town's got to have one. That's the Cimiterio Catholico de something. The Salino look like. All those monuments. And then the road up here, that is a Havelina hog. And he's not taking a nap. So if you're ever at Falcon Lake and you want to go to an interesting place for a picnic or an outing, go down to that birding facility. It's actually called a, <clears throat> a wildlife sanctuary. You'll see a sign, a little brown sign that means uh, it's a state facility or national or whatever. And uh, yeah, you can just drive on down there. It's not. It's an interesting drive. I mean, it's. Uh, all these old houses and stuff in here kind of fascinate me. But be that as it may, the re real reason I did this video was to remind those of you that are getting up in years and could possibly forget your keys, uh, well, be sure you've got plenty of spares outside your RV and outside your vehicle so you can get them and get in your vehicle or your home or whatever. It's cheap. It, you know, for ten bucks, you got everything covered. You know, you got a little sleep insurance. Turn it over here. Well, I better leave it in the center because it's kind. Of, it says RV parking lots there, but I don't see any RVs. Just a little sleepy little town on the border of Texas and Mexico. off to the right up here about 
seven miles or eight miles would be Roma, Texas. About 10,000 population. This little community here, I, I have no idea. It's strung out all over the place, so. But I don't think there may be a couple of hundred people here. We got a lot of speed bumps, and that's good. Slows down them. Slows down them vatos and bubbas that are in a hurry. Got me some green tea that's still nice and warm, tastes pretty good. That's Highway 83 straight ahead, and I'll end the video right there at that stop sign. But the Rio Grande River, the fence, there's nothing there. Nothing. The same way in Del Rio, or near Del Rio, let me say that. Not There are places where they have something. <clears throat> but it's just, never mind, political crap, in my opinion. So anyway, guys, from wherever, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Well, because I just it's just a wonderful idea. It helps me. If you want to help, do it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And, you know, don't just do it if you choose to. But anyway, what else? Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk. <clears throat> you know, uh, take deep breaths. Do all those free things to keep yourself healthy. You'll never regret it. You know, on a day like this, I mean, I know this video is going to be a little dark because it's overcast, but, uh, you know, the way it is. The only time to really do a good driving video is when it's uh, clear. But anyway, what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Enjoy your life. And don't forget to make you some extra keys. I don't care where you live or how you live. So bye-bye, men and ladies. <clears throat>